Mm-hmm. This is such a bad situation. No matter what I choose, I lose. Just to be around each other, even more to be away from you. Bags all packed, now I'm second guessing. Is my pride worth losing you? Manhood got me asking questions. Does giving this don't make me cool? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? This is Tabitha Williams, and you're watching Music Exclusives TV, and I'm here with Shalik. How are you? What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? Now, you all should be familiar with this gentleman right here. The two top ten singles. Please let them know what they were. Uh, two top ten singles. Uh, no, my first single was called The Past, mm-hmm. and the next one was called um, Ain't Supposed to Cry. Okay. So, you know, we, we enjoyed, uh, you know, some success with that. So, you know, shout out to Pendulum Records, Ruben Rodriguez, you know, you know, working hard on that record. You know, those two records making it go top ten. Some success. I mean, you were nominated for two. Two Soul Train Music Awards. Okay. Yeah. What was it like at the award show? It's crazy. You know, it's my first ever award show. You know, um, I've never been to the award show before. I've never been nominated. So, it was an experience. I was just, you know, taking it all in. Who are you excited to see the most? Uh, perform that night. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jodeci was performing that night. Like they was like they were like the surprise. I guess surprise. Everybody already knew about them, but I feel like every everybody everybody you know. I mean us. You know, in, in my same age bracket. You know, we 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 really respect Jodeci. You know, what they what they contributed to music and uh, their soulful voices, uh, especially R and B singers. You know, I feel like they're innovators. And to see them perform that night was crazy. It was, did you get starstruck by anyone? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> Mike Tyson. You know, Mike Tyson, you know, I, I met him, and I was like, yo, Mike, can I take a picture with you? He's so cool. And I was like, wow, like, he's the coolest brother, like, on this red carpet right now. He's Mike Tyson, you know? And um, so he kind of starstruck me a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, you have an EP that you're working on? Yeah. My EP is called Long Story Short. I'm so excited about this. Um, Why is it a long story short? You know, EPs, if y'all don't know, EPs are shorter than albums, and I feel like, you know, I have a lot to say, it, you know, so it, it definitely is my story, but it's, it's a shortened version of it, so I said long story short. It's six songs, but um, it's definitely going to segue into the next album. This EP is incredible, like, I feel like I, I, I kind of anted up for this second EP as opposed, you know, from the first album. I feel like, you know, there's growth there, and I feel like um, everyone's going to love the music. What kind of growth have you experienced from your first album to now? Um, Just, it, you know, just the fact that you know like like we just spoke about the the the, the soul train nominations and everyone's expecting you know for this next project to be to be special you know artists always have day nightmares about uh their second albums because it's like there's so much you have to um you, you have to you have to you know kind of raise the bar you know and that first one you're always going to put your all into it so it's like the pressure is crazy you know for the second album to be like oh my god now i gotta get better than that right. and so there's a lot of reservations there there's a lot of fear you know but at the end of the day you know you put your all into it and you you, you know and, and once and, and with this project i put my all into it and i feel like I'm, I'm i'm happy with it and i feel like you know people are gonna love it do you feel like you have to cater to the expectations of others or do you feel like you can still remain true to yourself i feel like i can do both I can remain true to myself and still, you know, feed the fans with what they want to hear and what they need to hear. Um, As an artist, I feel like that's my responsibility. So what am I going to hear on Long Story Short? You're going to hear, uh, oh, man. It's like I wanted to make it a little bit more edgier than, than, um, a little bit more edgy than than the, um, than the first project, you know, I feel like, you know, we, we really, you know, we wanted to make it a soulful album and we, we got the point across, but I think this project now is just having more fun with it, you know, and just uh, being more rhythmic and, and being more loose with it, being more edgy and kind of showing a little bit more of who I am, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like as an artist, I need to, you know, to, to, to dive even more into myself and letting, you know, my fans, you know, know more of me and different parts of me. I have to ask, me. with this edge, what is, what do you consider edge? I mean, I'm from the Bronx, New York. You know, I'm from I'm from the projects. I, I you know, my my grandmother. You know, I, I was always. I'm not born in the projects, but I'm. Oh, my cousins are there. You know what I'm saying? So I spent a lot of time, you know, in the projects. I spent a lot of time in the Bronx. I spent a lot of time in urban, in just where you know we as 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 you know um, minorities. You know, we're 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 in a certain place. You know what I'm saying? We have to survive. We're survivors. You know, and I feel like that has to come across in my music, because that's a part of who I am. I come from I come from the hood. I come from, you know, I come from less than you know. I I, I didn't have a silver spoon in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? You're saying that it's real. So I need to have that. I need to I need to have that element involved in my music. That soulfulness. That just just 
I need that to be a part of what I'm doing right now. Would you share that soulfulness with music exclusives? Oh, absolutely. Music exclusives will always get, the, you know, you guys, shout out to you guys. You guys supported me from day one. I feel like you guys are my biggest supporters. So anything you guys want, you guys are going to get. Well, can I Shout hear out. I want to hear you sing. I, I, that's I said anything, right? I did say you anything. Did, you did say anything. Oh, man. Damn, I did say anything. Mm. <laughs> honestly, though, I don't want to. I, I honestly want. I want to wait. I want to wait. I got to wait. I got to wait. Trust me, there's a method to the madness. Can you hum it? Ah, uh, man. I can give you a couple of titles. Something. No, I, I Come on, let me give you a couple of titles. Okay. A couple of titles. A couple of titles. One is called Forbidden Fruit. One is, you gotta give us that. You can't just throw the title out there and be like, wait for it, y'all. No, come one on. One is called Skeleton. One is called I'm With You. And we have a couple more. You know, he's gonna give a couple titles out. You did tell us that we could ask for it and you would give us anything. So maybe not off this EP, but just a little bit of something. Something that's in your mind and your uh, heart. Yeah. Coming out your mouth right now. Ah. Uh, I always get the most nervous when I'm asked, like, on the spot to sing. I promise you I do. I can do a show and I can do a set completely fine. But And this is a real moment right now. I'm, like, honestly, telling you the truth, I get the most nervous when I'm asked to sing, like, on the spot. Okay, not I got to be doing a show. You got to see me at a concert or something. I'm not sorry. Not this time, but this is not I say that with time. love. <laughs> and it won't be his last time here with Shali. I'm Tabitha Williams, and thank you for watching Music Exclusives TV. Yes, yes.